Just yesterday, a ton of new pictures of upcoming LEGO Star Wars Summer 2018 sets were revealed and they all look pretty cool. I mean, I'm not gonna pretend like these are overly exciting because we have seen plenty of versions of most of these in the past. The new Sandcrawler looks fine. I really wish I had picked up the UCS version. The new X-Wing looks okay with the new pilot helmets. I love those. It's so great to finally see a new Imperial landing craft after all these years. The Hoth medical chamber looks fine, but the two that I really want to talk about here are obviously Snoke's throne room and Anakin's Jedi starfighter. I've been really excited to see what this set was going to look like for several months now, but now to find out that it's actually going to be $70 for a 492 piece build that that's that's borderline insulting. I I cannot I cannot stomach anyone spending seventy dollars on this set. While it definitely looks really cool with a couple of basic play functions and stickers galore. I don't really think that having five high quality minifigures necessarily justifies this being $70. So while the Praetorian Guards absolutely live up to the expectations I've had for them ever since seeing The Last Jedi, I just don't know that I'm even going to pick up this set. But Anakin's Jedi Starfighter hits right in the nostalgia, man, because on the 10th anniversary, we're getting a new version of the first ever Star Wars The Clone Wars Lego set that I ever bought as a kid who was first starting out on YouTube back in those early days. And it is so, so exciting to see a new version, a new updated version of this simple set being put out there of full decade later i mean my god because this and the clone trooper and droid battle pack that were out in 2006 and 7 these are the sets that really started it all for me and the best part is it has retained its price of $19.99. So again, for a hardcore Star Wars The Clone Wars fan like myself, the series is basically responsible for this channel. This is super exciting for me and that Anakin Skywalker minifigure looks fantastic. So, will I be reviewing these? I mean, I might wind up swallowing the $70 pill that is Snoke's throne room. However, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter is a must for me, so without a doubt, you can expect a review on at least that set. I'm just not entirely sold on Snoke's throne room just yet because that price is just insane. But that is it for this video. Thanks for sticking around and thank you to FBTB and Hothbricks for providing all the images used in this video. I'll definitely drop links down in the description below. So on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, bye-bye.